and welcome back to my channel whoa my teeth look really weird today's look is gonna be on this like punk rock pink skull gangsta <laughs> if you would like to see how i created this look then just keep on watching So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just sketching out my design. I always do this because it just makes life so much easier. Um, it's really easy to erase, you know, if you mess up, you can just wipe it off easily. Think of it as like when you're painting on paper, it's the exact same principle. You would sketch out your design with a pencil first just to get the shape and everything right and then you go in with the paint. And it always helps to have a reference picture when you do things like this. I use one of Zombie Boy because I really like his tattoos. I really like the design of them and the shape of the skull on his face. So I just use a picture of him, but you can use pretty much any skull design. You could even just screenshot this and use this if it's easier for you. And if you do end up making any mistakes with the face paint, you can see here, I didn't draw the teeth as straight as I would like. They kind of curved up slightly and it looked like a smile. Um, so I just went in with a cotton bud to erase it and I just licked it, but if that grosses you out, you can just use a makeup remover or something. Here I'm just filling in my eyebrows. I went in with a darker brown first and then I do end up going in with black because I knew I was going to be wearing a black wig by the end of it. And I did go a bit ham, so I just went in and erased the fronts because they were looking a bit boxy. And I added in individual hairs and then went in with concealer and just carved the eyebrows out to make everything look cleaner. Then taking this red shade, I'm just putting that into my crease. I used two different brushes, one to pack it on and then another one to blend it out. Um, I only actually used two eyeshadows for this makeup look. I just used this pink color and black, so it's really simple and easy to do. And you can see I took that pink quite far into the center of my eye and also quite far underneath my eye. I knew I was gonna be doing a cut crease, so I did wanna make sure of that. And I also created a furrowed brow effect because that is what Zombie Boy has on his tattoos. Also, look at my eyes here. I tried, attempted to put a contact in and sometimes it just doesn't work, but you know, I managed to get it in in the end, but you know, it's not always easy. Here I'm just carving out the crease with some concealer. My eyes are really hooded, so cut creases don't like, they don't really work on me, but you know, I attempted it anyway, but you couldn't really see it in the end. Setting that with a white eyeshadow so nothing creases. And then taking the pink eyeshadow again to create a gradient between the black and the white. I just realized I lied earlier when I said I only used two eyeshadows. Okay, I used three, but you know, I still, it's not that much of it. Okay, I used four, but this isn't a corner highlight. It doesn't, it doesn't really count, does it? Okay, I used four eyeshadows. I think that's it. Here I'm lining my eye with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black B, I think it is. And I'm doing the thing, this makes me cringe so much. Oh my God, I can't watch it. Once I blended all that out, I went in with my eyeliner and I did a really bad job of getting it on camera, sorry. <laughs> Here I'm creating the dips in the eye socket just with a black eyeshadow and a fluffy pencil brush. This is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just let you watch me do it. I'm adding pink eyeshadow into the parts of the skull that I saw fit. Just kind of added too much. I didn't really like how much I added, but you know, I, I went with it. 
Then I'm taking black eyeshadow again on the same fluffy pencil brush and just adding shadows where there would be depth behind the skull. Add in small detail shadows onto the skull as well. This is just gonna make it look a lot more three-dimensional. And I went in and redid the teeth around my mouth because they kind of all smudged and got messed up. So I just redid them. Then I went in with concealer on the teeth just to cover up my lips. I didn't go in with white because I didn't want it to look I just, I just wanted it to look like skin underneath, if that makes sense. And then I am adding black uh, shading. You'll notice I do go back and forth between brushes a lot just to get a more seamless blend. If you go in with the same breath, <laughs> brush and it's not blending right, um, just switch up your brushes and you know experiment. I'm just going back and forth here, cleaning up things that were looking a bit messy. Double chinning it to get that sharp jaw. I added some slits to my eyebrows and I also did some little face tattoos on my head. And I wrote fear, but it's, it's backwards here, but it doesn't matter. I just copied a photo or like a reference picture that I saw of someone's tattoo on the internet because I thought the writing looked cool. Onto the neck tattoos then. I just did a spider web because it's quite a common neck tattoo. And then I did some roses, and I also wrote, uh, what am I write? Alive. I think it, I think I just saw someone else's tattoo that said this, so I just copied it pretty much. I added some signature Kat Von D stars and then I went in and shaded everything. I did this kind of roughly because I wanted it to look like a faded tattoo if that makes sense. And that's the neck piece done. I put my wig on. This wig is from Yumi Wigs and then that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye! Can't you see?